All right, guys, just got back from picking up some Rubicon rails for the four door. Got a little bit of dirt on them, no problem. Just gonna clean them up with some simple green as always. Gonna trim them up eventually before I put them on whenever I go up to uh, my next tire size. So they're in really good shape. They don't have any rust. Got all the hardware with them. Got a bag of hardware as well. All right, guys, pick these shocks up. Uh, they were used, they're for a two and a half inch lift. Uh, we do have shock spacers to uh, accommodate for that. But um, these are like brand new, we got a really good deal on them. Just gonna take some simple green, uh, clean up this dirt right here and they'll be good as new. So we got two of the front shocks. Um, we're gonna have to find some rear ones or we're gonna have to buy some brand new rear ones. So that's cool, another piece to the puzzle. That's awesome, I love those shocks. I'm glad I got those again. guys uh, this is how the JKU is currently looking right now with the uh, stock Rubicon tires and then the um, obviously stock JK wheels stock fender flares still uh, side steps on there so this is uh, currently how it's looking a big transformation from uh, when we picked it up obviously um, it looks pretty good this Jeep does have 373 gears just like uh, big sauce had I uh, really don't like how it drives with uh, smaller stock tires because you really have to shift gears um, a lot more frequently and the RPMs are a lot higher just to be cruising down the road. So the order was placed for the new wheels and tires. Really exciting. So this Jeep is going to be really similar to Glade, obviously just a different color and then newer. Um, you know, still a six speed, four door. Uh, it's going to have pretty much a really similar setup. Uh, you know, same top, everything, tramp stamp. Probably gonna do something with the exhaust here pretty soon. But basically a rundown, you know, we're just gonna be um, extending the brake lines, still gonna have stock control arms, gonna be adding control arm drop brackets uh, for now. We are gonna be doing three and a half inch coils and then a uh, one inch coil space here to uh, level it out, make it four and a half inches like Glade was. But for right now, I think the, uh, the coil spacers that we have in there are gonna have to do so right now I'm gonna measure uh, measure these coil spacers and see about what lift it has. Those will just be temporary, obviously. Also they're gonna be taking the front bumper off. I'm gonna be doing a uh, stubby just for temporary. Might even throw the 50 inch light bar on, who knows? Um, still really wanna get those brackets painted to match. So the inner fenders are now cut. I actually, uh, we do still have the fenders from Noctis, so we are gonna be using this temporarily, trim them up a little bit more uh, to fine tune until we find some other one, just so we don't have to cut the ones that are on the Jeep right now. But inner fenders are in. We got the inner fender with the uh, support too. So that made it easy. I'll just be able to take off the whole fender on the JKU and then slap these in. Oh boys, we are out here like 11 o'clock p.m. I have to work. Got to pick up some uh, lens tent for the tail lights. And then, uh, let's see what else. I got to get some Loctite too for the wheel spacers. All right, so we got blue Loctite. This is a good brand. I don't see any red though. Alrighty, and then we get lens tint.
All right, guys, uh, let's see here. We have the driver's side front uh, completely done. We've got the temporary uh, coil spring spacer set up just to get us by about three and a quarter inches to the left, uh, just until we get the four and a half inch coils. The shock is completely in on that side. You guys can kind of kind of see that there. Uh, fender is completely off, getting ready to take the bumper off after I finish the passenger side. Got the brake line uh, brackets installed, got all those extended, uh, everything rerouted. So we're finishing up the passenger side right now and are about to take off the front bumper, which is a very big pain because uh, these two inside bolts where the uh, evap canister or whatever that thing is called, those are almost impossible to get to. So I'm gonna try to go from the top, uh, take off this plastic panel. Looks pretty cool like this. Looks like it has like a bunch of lift or something. Definitely a uh, project phase right now. Still trying to think of a name for this Jeep. Uh, we, we really can't think of anything. I'm sure it'll, uh, we'll think of something eventually. That's how it usually goes with the past uh, previous Jeeps as well. So we were going to uh, change the headlights out to uh, some blacked out LED ones that were in Glade originally. But uh, we kind of realized during the process that the um, previous owner had HIDs, uh, bulbs in these and the fog lights. That's what all this wiring is for. Uh, we don't really have time or one full with all that today. That'll be for another day. Uh, these will still look good though for now. <laughs> 